what's up guys, back here with another video. So this time I'm going to show you about uh, converting data types in Java. So first you have to understand that there are uh, already conversions happening within Java automatically. So let me show you. So if you create an integer, int jerry with the value of 5000, uh, we could easily fit that into a long because a long is way bigger than an integer. So that's called a widening, widening conversion. So let's try that. So long another jerry and then we'll set another jerry equal to jerry okay so now this works because um long is actually it has a way bigger range of um uh, allowed numbers basically it's a bigger range than integer basically as we looked at last episode so it's way bigger than an integer so this could easily fit into a long so it automatically converts so we don't have to do anything special so if we print this out sout another jerry it works so we get 5,000. So this is now a long inside the expression. So it all works very nice. So let's say we want to convert it um, downward, basically. We want to convert the integer to a byte. That actually wouldn't convert automatically. It would not work because a byte is smaller, so that would have to be a narrowing, narrowing conversion. It just wouldn't work. So as you see here, we have an error. Okay. So if we look at the, the range of a byte, I think it goes to like 256 or something like that. So let's try that. Let's convert this. We could do something called casting where we force it this to become a byte instead of integer now. So now they're both byte on both sides, so it's compatible. So let's print this out and see what happens. And we actually get negative 120, which doesn't make any sense because 5,000, even if you force it to become a byte, it's still not in the range of a byte itself. So let's try and convert this to 255. Let's see if that works. Oh, maybe it's 100, uh, I don't know. I forgot the range. But anyway, let's try and get it to fit inside. So now it works because 100 is with, within the range of a byte. So if we for this, force this integer to become a byte, it'll actually fit. So it works, basically. It's called a narrowing, narrowing conversion. So, But the only difference between a narrowing and a widening conversion is that in a narrowing, you have to cast it, basically. You have to force it to become the variable type that you want it to be on this side and that side, basically. So... Yeah, so this will also work with the short. So let's say we have a short here. Um, a short is pretty much bigger than a byte, obviously. We already learned that. So let's convert this to like 10,000. So the integer is 10,000, right? But we want this to, and we have a short name, another Jerry. So we want to set Jerry to equal the short of another Jerry. But that doesn't work because, let's see. Let's try that. So it works this way, but let's say we have no cast here then it won't work because um, the integer is bigger than a short and that's a narrowing conversion. So it automatically just won't fit in there. So you have to force it to become a short basically. So they're both the same on both sides, basically same data type on both sides. So that's how you do that. A different type of conversion will occur when a floating point value is assigned to an integer type. It's called truncation. That's what it's called. So truncation is when you have, let's say we'll create a double and we'll name it, uh, cool dude equals 120.4 or 5 and we'll and then we'll have an integer name i um, and then we'll say i is equal to cool dude which um, doesn't exactly work so what we have to do is make this force it to be an integer right but it's actually not going to convert um, all the way let me show you what i mean so we'll print out i which will be our integer right so we're, what we're doing here is we're setting double uh, cool dude, which is a double with that equal to the integer of i. So if you don't know how this works, you might think that i will be equal to 120.5, but actually that doesn't happen. Truncation will happen where it cuts off the end of the everything after the decimal, basically. That's truncation. So um, this happens because an integer can't have a floating point value. So what it does, it tries to fit it within the boundaries. So it just cuts everything off behind the decimal point. So yeah, so another way to do this is if you it's just if you have integer i2 equals 125.6, something like that, and then you set i2. So then even if you do it like that, you still have to convert it to an integer. So it just cuts off right there. So that's a shorter way to do it. But anyway, that's you. hopefully you get the point. So yeah, that's truncation. So now for this next part, you'll need a basic understanding of operators, but it's okay. It's very simple and we'll learn about them later on. So it's just simple math anyway. 
So let's create two variables of the same type, um, byte. Um, so we'll have byte num1 equals, uh, we'll do Fiona and Shrek. So byte Fiona equals 100 and then byte Shrek equals 200. So, and then we're gonna have an integer int result equals Shrek times Fiona. Oh, oops, that has to be a byte, so we'll change it to 100 also. So they'll both be 100. So if we have these two bytes here and we multiply them times each other, so we'll do int result equals Fiona times Shrek. Um, these two values times each other will equal something way bigger than the allowed range of a byte. So what happens, Java, um, every time Java um, does an operation like this, it will convert the value of these two um, to an int, basically altogether that will create an int every time so int result equals int these are now an int it's basically the same thing as having an int cast here it's the same result so um, yeah so if we sout it'll actually work perfectly so it's automatically converted on both sides to an int because fin and shrek times each other will create an int so we can come across some problems though because yeah so we have to be careful so if we create oops so if we create a byte b equals let's say 50 and then we could do b equals uh 50 times 2 or b times 2 then we get an error here because um this is automatically converted to an int no matter what but this is a byte so how does it work so the easy way to fix this would just be to you know make this an int here or no that wouldn't work um we could have a whole nother variable like C and then set C equal to that. And so it would work like that. So let's say C and we can have C here because C is an integer. So this would work because this is an integer, integer now. The operation is converted to an integer automatically by Java equals an integer. So that would work out, but it just won't work if we set it to B because B is a byte and this is an integer on this side. This is a byte on this side. So it just doesn't work. So the work away, I mean, the workaround for that is just to cast this result to a byte and you have to put a parenthesis on the side so it doesn't get confused. So now this works because it's a byte on both sides. So sweet, oop, there we go. So let's print that out. It should give us 100, I believe, yep. Okay, so that works. And make sure you have these parentheses here because you know it just doesn't make sense if you have, what's it, what it's doing here is it, only B will be converted to a byte, which is already a byte. So if we, we want the whole thing to be a byte basically, not, yeah, <laughs> so. Yeah, so we want this instead of an integer to be a byte because this is a byte and this is what we set it to be. So yeah, just play around with it. It could be kind of confusing sometimes, but yeah. I hope this made sense. If it doesn't make sense, then oh well, but this isn't too important. It's just a little overview if you need, ever need to do this stuff. Um, if you liked it, leave a like. If you need help, definitely leave a comment. I'll help you. Subscribe if you want to see more and peace.